Welcome back, everybody. I'm Doug Kaufman with Tomorrow's Technician, and I'm excited to be presenting another great candidate for the Blaster Instructor of the Year. This month, we got to meet an amazing young instructor whose career as an automotive instructor began almost before his career as an automotive student ended. Robert Ballard, automotive instructor at Chapel Hill High School in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, says he has always loved working on cars from the day he could walk and remembers helping his dad in the garage. His collection of Hot Wheels cars helped fuel his passion, which really exploded in high school. He says he wasn't a great traditional student, but once he signed up for a collision repair class, he was transformed. His instructor inspired him to go from being a C and D student in high school to a straight-A college student at Durham Tech in North Carolina. He says his skills drew the attention of a specialty automotive electrical shop in the area, and he was hired as a lead electrical technician. Now, remember that part about starting his teaching career young? Robert said he was recruited to teach automotive at the local community college when he was 17. Most of his students were far older than he was. Still, he says this was a great way for him to give back to the students and teachers who had always been his heroes. Let's hear the rest of Robert's story. I started it off in middle school. Uh, when I was in middle school, I got introduced to CTE. Uh, so I started taking a construction in class, um, and I had a great instructor in that construction class at middle school. Uh, with that passion, I went off to high school, um, and I didn't do so well in my core classes, but those elective CTE courses really got my eye, and I really enjoyed them. Uh, so I started taking Clitter and Pair. Um, I had an awesome instructor uh, in my CTE course for Clitter and Pair in high school. He kind of led me on the path of automotive. Um, that's where I really had a passion, um, and uh, he put me in Durham Tech. Uh, so I applied at Durham Tech, had a lot of great instructors at Durham Tech, and I uh, started working more and more on cars every day. Uh, they pushed me to actually get a job in an automotive, and with that uh, job, I started learning how to work on cars um, and or automotive uh, aspect, and then it moved up from there. Uh, after I graduated uh, college, uh, I started working in a lot more independent shops, where I was also offered a job to start teaching at Durham Tech. Uh, with that uh, job, um, what it allowed me to do is uh, teach a lot of students um, the same things that I was taught in school. Um, so I started teaching at the age of 17. Um, and. Uh, Soon after that, I started working in a bunch of other community colleges and working during the day, doing electrical and diagnostic work. Um, but that's pretty much how I got into the career of automotive. So what led me to teaching uh, was really the passion for cars and also having those great instructors in high school and college. Uh, they were pretty much heroes to me, so I wanted to give back what they gave to me. Uh, so with that, what they ended up uh, instilling in me is that we need to train the next generation of technicians, otherwise the industry's gonna come to a halt. Um, so I kinda got that passion from my previous instructors in high school and college. Uh, I also have had a mom that was a she teacher and she uh, was an inspiration on me, uh, showing me good work that they were showing up on time. Uh, making sure kids had the ability to do what they wanted to do. So I took a lot of inspiration from her also. Really a lot of instructors and my mom was really a big inspiration of how I got up in TG. What I tried to do is show them um, by doing. Uh, I think uh, what's good is when an instructor can actually lead by example. Um, so I usually never ask my students anything that I'm not going to do first. Um, so if it's something that I ask them to do on the vehicle, it's something I've done in the past. Um, so I've never asked them to do anything that I've not done before. Um, but uh, good work ethic, showing up on time, that's usually what I want to exemplify in my students. So 
the Meyer perch in the classroom has changed drastically over the past couple of years. Um, when I first uh, started taking automotive classes, it was a lot of reading and a lot of book material that was uh, given to me. Um, and that's how I started teaching. Um, I thought it was a lot of definitions, a lot of book work that was needed for that student to understand how to work on the car. Uh, so where they can do more or less 3D diagnostics and things like that with some of the computer programs. Uh, but I've also uh, started working with multiple industry partners to try to get other people more involved with uh, the automotive aspect of things. So more hands-on training with industry partners. So they'll bring in displays. Um, maybe they'll bring in um, some type of like 3D welding machine. So they actually get interested in doing uh, some of the automotive thing. Um, but from that, the uh, online type virtual aspect. Um, so what we do in automotive is we try to reach out to not only middle schools and other high schools, but we try to reach out to elementary schools now. Um, so we do outreaches where we might have a particular uh, topic we're covering so we go out to both schools and we'll cover that topic for those students uh, we might uh, try to get them enrolled in the program so we might bring the race car out to them uh, so they get uh, interested in um, the, the racing aspect of it or interested in the automotive industry as a whole uh, we also just started a female lunch and learn um, which helps out with uh, kind of core issue with demographics and automotive um, specifically my program, uh, we're trying to boost the female population because it's not necessarily a demographical issue with race or uh, anything like that. It's more of an issue with a female to male population. Uh, so we started getting industry partners that were female related um, and they came in and talked to the students and we do female launch up learns now on a monthly basis. Uh, so we're always constantly reaching out to middle schools, high schools, uh, elementary schools, and uh, we also try to do a lot of lunch and learn to where students can come in and uh, learn about cars but not have that pressure of actually uh, being in a class or being in a large group setting. Being recognized has been a great opportunity as a CTE nominee. Uh, so with CT in the past, uh, I think it's a little bit bigger than just being B as being nominated. Um, CT has been looked down upon in the past. Uh, so I really enjoy the fact that uh, there are companies and the industry partners out there recognizing CT teachers uh, like D. Um, so I feel like it's not only recognizing me, but recognizing the program and CTE as a whole. So I think it's been a great opportunity um, for everybody all of me. So not just me, but the program and CTE as a whole. So with my program in the future, uh, one of the biggest things is trying to introduce hybrid electric vehicles more into the program or curriculum. So we're getting two new charging stations outside. Uh, we're also trying to work with Ford and other companies to get vehicles donated. Um, so we're currently working on getting a Ford Lightning donated. Uh, but uh, also I'm looking to try to connect with more industry partners, connecting more students with those industry partners and creating pathways with the community college system. So we're trying to introduce more uh, apprenticeship opportunities, but also pre-apprenticeship opportunities for the high school students. Uh, so they have a pathway that they're going to be able to latch on to and be able to continue into their college but also into the industry. Um, so that's uh, kind of what we're working on for the future. From bringing an innovative racing program to Chapel Hill High School, to working with female automotive professionals to mentor and inspire girls in his classroom, Robert Ballard continues to look for ways to provide real-world experiences for his students to add to their excitement and to explore the options available in the automotive industry. Robert, we know you're already an accomplished, often awarded instructor, and on behalf of all of us at Babcox Media, Tomorrow's Technician, and our friends at Blaster Corporation, congratulations. You're one of our six finalists for the National Instructor of the Year Award to be named in May. For the past several years, we have been telling the stories of really great automotive and technology instructors with our Instructor of the Year program. 
We've had some amazing candidates and we're excited to introduce Robert. Now, we have one candidate to be considered for recognition by Tomorrow's Technician and Blaster Corporation. To learn more about the Instructor of the Year program, visit tomorrowstechnician.com. I'm Doug Kaufman. Thanks for everything you do.